everyone. Today we are going to be finding out about how the size and shape of paper changes how quickly it moves through the air. I wonder what you already know about how quickly or slowly different objects move through air. I wonder what sort of shapes or sizes engineers or designers use when trying to change the speed objects travel through air. Can you think of anything that you already know about this? Pause the recording to have a think. I wonder if you thought of any of these things. Let's test out some engineering or design ideas. You're going to need two pieces of paper. It can be any type, any colour of paper, and you're going to need to make different shapes and sizes out of it. You might want to scrunch it up or fold it. You might want to keep it as it is. The trick is to make two shapes or sizes you can compare from the same type of paper and then you're going to need to find out how quickly they move through the air compared to each other. I just dropped them, holding them out in front of me. But which one will fall slowest? Engineers and designers, especially ones who work in the military or space industry, really need to know the answer to this question. They are responsible for designing and making parachutes to stop people or important equipment falling too quickly. They want to find out which shapes and sizes will slow them down best. What questions do you have? Pause the recording to have a think. I wonder if you thought of any of these questions what will you find out today? I wonder what you will choose to find out more about today. Don't forget to tell someone else what you find out. Maybe your teacher, maybe your family, maybe your friends. Whatever you do, have fun. Bye-bye.